Welcome back everyone. Today we have an exciting topic to explore in the world of Skyrim modding. We'll diving into the fascinating realm of mod combinations that can amplify your gaming experience. But wait, there's more. I've also prepared some exclusive surprises along the way. You won't want to miss out on the hidden gems and secret synergies that I've discovered during my modding adventures. So, viewers, I urge you to stay tuned until the very end. You won't want to miss a single moment of this modding extravaganza. Get ready to witness the power of mod combinations firsthand. Have you ever thought about needs mods that use Skyrim food? There are a lot of needs mods with really amazing features, but when you keep using these, have you ever had your save file destroyed by the accumulation of scripts? If so, try the combination Show Player in Menus, Super Simple Needs, Conditional Expressions, Eating Animations, and Sounds mod. The principle of this mode combination is explained as follows. First of all, the Needs feature uses Super Simple Needs, which uses the least number of scripts. Super Simple Needs adds very simple hunger and fatigue to Skyrim. Conversely, this mod hardly ever uses scripts because it's so simple. However, since the hunger and fatigue feature is added, it allows you to utilize the features of various foods and beds in Skyrim. At this time, add eating animations and sounds mod and show player in menus to add eating or drinking animations. In particular, if you utilize show player in menus, your character will use the eating or drinking animation on the right side of the inventory. If you modding like this, you can give the effect like playing an RPG game. The Super Simple Needs mod doesn't have an eating hotkey, so use the Eating Animations and Sounds mod in conjunction with Show Player in Menus to make the eating drinking animation cutscenes in your inventory as dynamic as possible. And lastly, we'll add the Conditional Expressions mod. The reason for adding the Conditional Expressions mod is to use the ability to move the player's mouth when eating among the features of the Conditional Expressions mod. In particular, if you go to the MTM settings menu and set the eating expression to quick eating, the mouth shape and the eating animation when eating from the inventory will almost match. If you use these four mods together, you can first upgrade the stability of the game by minimizing the use of scripts for needs. And second, one of the biggest advantages of the eating animations and sounds mod, a dynamic food model output function, you can use more realistic sound when eating or drinking so you feel much more immersed. And thirdly, you can upgrade RPG elements when you eat or drink through show player in menus. So if you've been suffering from script conflicts with the needs mod, or if you've been wanting to take advantage of the needs mod, give the mod combo I introduce you a try. Are you tired of seeing your player character always running monotonously with a scabbard on his left waist and a shield in his left hand? Have you ever been envious of a man walking with two swords on his back dynamically like a witcher? But have you ever been angry because your character's weapon is hardened like plastic? If so, you are welcome. In this video, I will introduce a modding method that minimizes frame drops while changing your equipment as dynamically as possible. The way to do that is by using a combination of four mods. Simple dual sheath, immersive equipment display, CBPC equipment, and faster HDT SMP. First of all, the simple dual sheath mod makes equipped left-hand weapons and both staves visible on the player or NPCs, works with any weapon. However, simple dual sheath has a limitation in that only the equipment used by the actor is visible, so when used in conjunction with immersive equipment displays, you can display equipment that you have added to your favorites in addition to the equipment that the actor is using and add physical effects to your equipment with CBPC equipment. Equipment that moves dynamically will further upgrade your sense of immersion. By the way, do you hear the pain of your computer due to frame drops? Don't worry, just add a faster HDT SMP to reduce frame drops due to physics. The combination of these four mods changes the equipment of actors more dynamically and also upgrades the sense of immersion through physical effects. And with faster HDT SMP, frame drops are minimized giving you the most efficient upgrade. Gotta be careful. In this time, Never know who you I will introduce a days. mod combination that can be changed like that? Fallout 4 when a player talks to an NPC. In vanilla Skyrim, the player okay, character has no voice. Visitors. It's all about wielding a weapon in combat, being attacked by an enemy, or talking briefly when dying. And that's not all. Even when talking to an NPC, to the player is silent. The NPC talks hard, but the player is always question. silent. The camera wow, cutscenes are also monotonous. It doesn't switch screens between characters and NPCs dynamically like witchers do. 
So, use the alternate conversation camera mod and the improved alternate conversation camera mod to dynamically switch screen between player and NPC in real time. It doesn't matter if you just use the alternate conversation camera mod, but it will be difficult to adjust the camera angle in detail. Therefore, when using the improved alternate conversation camera mod, the MCM menu is added to make it convenient to set the camera angle in detail. Add the Dragonborn voiceover mod here to give your player character a voice. The player character what now speaks and engages in real conversation rather than being silent, allowing you to be more immersed in the game's story. Now add a gesture animation remix, so NPCs use different gesture animations when talking. As NPCs use gesture animation in various ways and talk, the sense of immersion will be upgraded. It's not over yet. Now install PC head tracking and voice type, allowing players to use their voices in various situations. With this enabled, the player mm -hmm. character will now be able to talk when normal attacking, hurry. jumping, sprinting, or using magic. At this time, it is recommended to use the same voice as the voice pack of the Dragonborn voiceover mod introduced earlier. If the difference in voice is too many, it is because the voice is too different when talking, so the sense of immersion may be lost. In this time, let's look at mod combinations related to campfires. You need four firewood to use the campfire, but the important point is that there is no other way to get firewood in Skyrim than by activating a tree stand. And that's not all. They usually use a campfire, and players who don't use fast travel often have to sleep outdoors. But in the field it's too difficult to get firewood on the fly, as there are no wooden supports. So add the Skyjack Simple Woodcutter mod to immerse yourself in gathering firewood outdoors. Skyjack Simple Woodcutter mod is a really awesome mod. Materials can be obtained by attacking trees and rocks in the Skyrim world with a wooden axe or a pickaxe. At this time, if you approach a tree or rock with a wooden axe or pickaxe, the color of the object will change. If you attack it, you will get the material. What's really surprising is that this amazing performance mod has no bug reports on Test Nexus at all. This means that this mod is fairly safe. Players who like the immersive survival concept will find something different when using the Skyjack Simple Woodcutter mod with a campfire. Now let's add Samuelga's tools, not weapons, dar animations. By adding this animation, your character will be able to use the immersive wooden axe and pickaxe animations even in third-person view. The amazing thing about this mod is that it supports MCO mod, so players who use MCO can also use this animation without any burden. Looking at the popular game The Legend of Zelda recently, didn't you reinstall the Skyrim Paraglider mod? But have you ever been disappointed to see your character take a weird pose when you drop out of the paraglider? Don't be disappointed anymore. Enhance your paraglider mod further with the Paraglider Minor Expansion and Falling Art mod. With this mod, if you press the sneak button while falling, you can use the video-style falling stance. This is recommended for players using paragliders as it can create a more dynamic fall. Lastly, I'd like to introduce a powerful combination of mods, show player in menus and immersive equipping animations. When utilizing the show player in menus mod, the character will be positioned on the right side of the inventory menu, providing a visually pleasing arrangement. And when coupled with the immersive equipping animations mod, you'll witness captivating animations of your character seamlessly changing equipment within the inventory. By combining these two mods, they complement each other perfectly, resulting in a comprehensive modding experience. This combination enables you to witness the character's equipment changes instantly within the inventory, enhancing the RPG-like immersion factor and taking your gaming experience to new heights. And that concludes our exploration of mod combinations and how they can maximize the functionality of your favorite mods. I hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the world of modding and discovered some exciting new possibilities for your gaming adventures. Remember, modding is all about personalization and creating a gaming experience that resonates with you. By combining mods strategically, you can unlock a whole new level of immersion and enjoyment in your games. If you found this video helpful and inspiring, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We have plenty more modding content and gaming guides coming your way, so be sure to stay tuned. Until next time, keep experimenting, keep exploring, and keep gaming. Stay modded and game on!